What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Now, listen, y'all, before we get into the word, okay, I just want to remind everybody that tickets to the First Class Summit are still on sale. VIP is so close to being completely sold out, okay? And so, listen, child, make sure that you go get your ticket today. If you are dealing with certain topics like letting go of perfectionism, okay, struggling with faith in your finances, comparing yourself to other success, starting over, okay, letting go of certain friends and family members. Listen, if you are struggling in any area of your life and you need help or guidance, okay, or to talk to somebody, make sure that you get into the room. Your next business partner, your business partner, your next idea, okay, is in the the room okay there is something that happens when you get into the room and get around like-minded people okay so get your tickets today by visiting www.thefirstclasssummit.com now listen y'all the title of this video is called you are a diamond okay you are a diamond somebody type in the comments i am a diamond okay and so listen when um the holy spirit was speaking to me on the topic of you are a diamond he started talking to me about how um a lot of people come to him right and pray like lord use me you want to um you want to help people right you want to inspire people right show me what my purpose is so that i can transform the world okay and so listen there's nothing wrong with those prayers but what people don't know is that there is always a process attached to your prayers that's a whole nother word there is always a process attached to each and every one of your prayers, okay? And so listen, anytime that you want to be used to be an influence, okay, or inspiration unto people for God to shine his light through you, there's a process connected to it, okay? And so listen, um, the Holy Spirit led me to scripture and let me break this down for y'all, okay? And so he was talking to me about how First and foremost, I don't know who this is for, but I just he just wanted me to say that everybody that says God does not mean that they're talking about your God, okay? <laughs> That's why you got to watch people, okay, when people just say God, okay? If they're not talking about Yahweh, okay, if they're not talking about Jesus Christ, if they're not talking about the one that you serve, then that's how they know that they're not talking about your God. But some people will play and use God's name, even Jesus's name in vain to act like they are a follower of Christ. But in reality, they're not, okay? And so listen, he led me to scripture, which was 1 Timothy 4 verse one. And it says, the spirit clearly says that in later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. <laughs> Listen, child, this scripture says such teachings come through hypocritical liars, okay? It literally talks about how people will abandon the faith, okay? And then it says, and go and follow deceiving spirits. And so all of that is confirmation that everybody is not following the same God or on the same path as you, even though they say that they are. And so anyone that can come or try God, quote unquote, try God, and then leave quickly, was never a follower of Christ to begin with. That means that they were here for the wrong reasons. They were trying to be connected to God, Yahweh, for the wrong reasons. Trying to kill, steal, and destroy. Probably even God's people. And so listen, then he brought me over so that's number one so listen child when you are a diamond okay that means that you can withstand the heat and the pressures that life throws out you the test that god sends you the test that the enemy tries to send you you can withstand those things you will persevere through those things you will not give up even though you might have a thought okay or thoughts of giving up because you are so devoted because you love Jesus himself, you will never give up on this faith, regardless of how hard it gets, okay? 
you might say it out your mouth child but in your heart you know good and well that you believe like i cannot give up on jesus i don't know who i would be without him okay and so in john 10 i think it's 20 28 it says i will give them eternal life and they shall never perish no one will snatch them out of my hand when you are a true believer of god the scripture says no one will snatch you out of god's hand and you will not perish listen this is how you know the difference between those who are faking and acting like okay they're a true gem or a true diamond or a true follower a true worshiper of christ and those who really are who really are it okay and listen so when god was speaking to me on becoming a diamond there was one part that stuck out to me that he said he said shantia what's the difference between each diamond right we all know diamonds and i thought about it and i'm like what do you mean like they all go through pressure right they all go through test trial heat he said no what is the difference between each diamond some diamonds are more prettier than others but what's the difference <laughs> the cut the cut of the diamond is the difference the cut of certain diamonds makes up the difference and so when you are praying to god to become this diamond, to become the fullness of Christ, to be used, to inspire people, okay? To be put on certain platforms. When you are praying for God for these things, and if you're watching this video, I know that you have been praying for these things, to be a world changer, okay? For God to use you in whatever capacity he wants. He says the cut makes up the difference. And so in some seasons, you might be cut in a teardrop face. In another season, you might be cut in a star. Depending on how long you stay on this journey, depending on how long you stay in this faith, will depend on the cut on your cut and how deep that cut goes and how beautiful that cut comes out because God says every single time you go from glory to glory to glory to glory you got to be cut some more <laughs> you have to be cut some more God said it's the cut that makes up the difference and so on your journey of becoming a diamond, on your journey of becoming all who God called you to be, I need you to understand and to know that you will be cut. What does that mean? To know that it will hurt. It's going to hurt. You're going to feel like you can't take the pain anymore. You're going to feel like you can't do this anymore. It's too hot. It's too much pressure. God is requiring too much of me. Why do I have to keep waiting? Why do things have to be continuously be put on delay? Why do things feel like they're constantly being blocked? God said, it's not because it's really blocked. It's not because you're really being delayed. God said, you're just being cut in the exact way that I need you to be cut in. God says, because when I showcase you, when I put you back on the platform, when I put you back on display, thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> thank you. I can't even remember the name of that video. God said, when I put you back on display, you will be set at a higher price. You will be set at a higher price. People will no longer recognize you because of the pressures and the heat that you had to go through in order to become this unique diamond that God has created you to be. Listen, child. God said, you prayed to me for it. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> God said, you prayed to me for it. You prayed for me to change your heart. You prayed for me to restore your relationship. You prayed for a husband and a wife. You prayed for a healthy marriage. You prayed to break generational curses. You prayed. You prayed for God to remove certain things off. You prayed to help me, to help you learn how to forgive. You prayed for these things. And God said, and because you were bold enough to pray for it, you got to be bold enough in order to go through the process to wait for it. And when you wait for it, you're going to see how beautiful this journey really truly is listen child <laughs>
God said, don't be scared of the cut. When you're a diamond, don't be scared to get cut. Don't be scared to go through hell. Because even while you're walking through hell, even while you're walking through dark valleys, it can't touch you. It can't break you. It can't keep you down. <laughs> God said it might get close, but it can't keep you there. God said, because when you have the hand of God, when you have my hand, you cannot perish. And the scripture says, and no one, and no one will snatch you out of my hand. Listen, child. When God is the one that is molding you and creating you into this beautiful diamond, you can't be touched. You can't be touched. Somebody just need to type that in the comments. I can't be touched. I can't be shaken. <laughs> I'm unshakable. I'm unmovable. I'm unstoppable. You will not stop me. Some of y'all need to type that in the comments. You will not stop me. You cannot stop me. Listen, child. I don't know who this word is for. <laughs> But God is saying, you are a diamond. You are a true diamond. You're not one of those fake diamonds. God said, you are a true diamond. And a true diamond takes time to develop. It takes time to become the fullness. It takes time for you to fully see your full potential. Okay, of who God called you to be. And so listen, child, I don't know who this word is for, but I know it's for somebody. But God just wanted me to remind you that you are a diamond. You are a diamond. It's a lot of fake jewels out here. It's a lot of fake diamonds out here. But God said, you're the real deal. You're the real thing. And you know when you are the real thing, okay? Because you still continue to persevere. You still continue to believe. You still continue to grow. Even when you fell down seven times, you still decided to get up eight. And you keep getting up. And you keep trying. And you keep pushing. And you keep persevering. And you keep praying. And that's how you know that you're a true diamond. And that's how you know that God called you to this journey and that's how you know that you are the one for the job listen child a lot of people quit on this journey because it gets too hard but God told me that you're not a quitter <laughs> if you're watching this video God told me that you're not a quitter you're not a quitter that's why you keep watching you're not a quitter that's why you keep listening you're not a quitter that's why you keep reading you're not a quitter that's why you keep feeding yourself you keep feeding your spirit you're not a quitter that's why you keep seeking that's why you keep searching that's why you keep praying that's why you keep getting in the room that's why you keep getting connected with the right people you're not a quitter even though you might have a thought of saying that you want to quit your actions in your heart show that you can't quit you can't quit because you know that there was a reward attached to your pain you can't quit because you know that there is something on the other side of this wall you can't quit because you see the vision that God has given you you're not a quitter and that's why God says that you are a true diamond believe it and receive it okay anyways y'all make sure that you like comment subscribe and share this video out to 10 of your family and your friends make sure you get your ticket to the first class summit child before it sell out anyways y'all I love you all and I will see you all next time bye